SE versus S9 Plus speed test coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology. iPhone SE versus Galaxy S9 Plus speed test David versus Goliath. Let's go ahead and boot these up at the same time in three, two, one and see which one will get there first now this video comes off of the request of many who said well that's just because you're facing against the small s9 put it against the s9 plus in the other day video where the se won some areas against the s9 but i don't think it was overall the faster phone but at the same time they people were saying that the galaxy s9 has to push way more pixels it's not really fair and whoa the se actually boot up first over the S9 Plus Snapdragon 845 edition. And people have been saying, well, use the Exynos model here. Um, the Snapdragon 845 is a beastly chip. This has six gigs of RAM. Still lost though here on the boot up test. That's funny because the smaller S9 did not lose on the boot up test against the iPhone SE. Okay, a couple of things before we get going. iOS 11.3.1, latest version on the iPhone SE 11.4 coming soon. Over here for the Galaxy S9 Plus, this is Samsung's 9.0 experience. There hasn't been no updates, it's Android Oreo, but I am rocking this thing down to 720p to make this more fair against the super low resolution iPhone. Okay, so the iPhone SE's got one win on the boot up test, but not here on the fingerprint. There's no way the SE's gonna win on this one, and you're gonna see it right now, three, two, one. And you can see the S9 all day just has the faster fingerprint. And that actually is quicker when you do put the animations down, but I'm not gonna do that here for this video. But you can see S9 all day. So it's 1-1 so far. The iPhone SE definitely is slower, much slower in fact, on the fingerprint. First gen Touch ID cannot even compete with Samsung's rear mounted fingerprint. So it's 1-1 here so far. Okay, so I want to go ahead and see which one is faster on the lock screen with that camera launch. So let's see which one can open it first. That looks like the SE. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Just see which one can actually get that photo first. And that's the iPhone SE. So let's go ahead and see if the SE is faster than quick launch though. If you have the lock screen on the Galaxy S9321. And you can see it's still a little bit faster. What about unlocking it with the quick launch? Three, two, one. And you can see it's still even faster than the quick launch. So, you know, this is 2-1 to the iPhone SE so far. All right, guys, so we have arrived at the application portion of the speed test. We are going to run the stock apps first or the regular apps, and then we're going to run some social media here. But we're not going to go into the gaming for this app round. We're going to do that separately. Let's go into calendar. You can see... That's the Galaxy S9. Now coming home again with a capacitive home button that's always quicker than a physical touch. Let's go into the calculator and you can see that's the S9 again. Let's go into the clock and you can see that's the Galaxy S9 again. Let's go into the App Store and Play Store and you could see Galaxy S9 again, S9 Plus. Let's go into Instagram and you could see S9 Plus load stuff again first over the iPhone SE. Let's go into the Twitter round and you can see Twitter is first there on the right over the iPhone SE. Let's go into YouTube and YouTube loads up content first on the right. Let's go into the Snapchat and you can see Snapchat on the right once again. So the SE has won no rounds here. Let's go into Pinterest. You can see Pinterest again on the right. So no comparison here with these apps, eBay, and you could see that's the S9 again. Let's go into Amazon. And you could see that's the S9 Plus again over the SE. So SE losing every round here. Let's go into Chrome. And you could see Galaxy S9 Plus again. So the S9 Plus strikes back once again. Okay, so we're tied 2-2 here in this David versus Goliath. Let's go into the Chrome and you could see they open about the same. This is just a multitasking round. That's the S9. Let's go to eBay. That's the S9 a little bit faster. Pinterest, S9 loading things up quicker on the multitasking. And then we have the SE there. Let's go into YouTube. About the same on that one. Let's go into the Twitter round. And it's about the same there. And let's go into Instagram. And it's about the same there. What about the App Store, Play Store? That's probably the SE. Let's go into the clock. About the same on that one. Let's go into Calculator. And you can see there's really no differences here in the multitasking. They're both loading up the apps 
no problem. So we're just gonna call that a draw. Let's get on to the next round, which is gonna be the gaming row. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and run a gaming round. So what we're gonna test here is to see if the SE or the Galaxy S9 Plus does better in the gaming. Now apps are closed again. Let's go into Tekken. Now Tekken's a decently graphically intensive game. It's not too much power it takes, but it still takes longer to load than your basic app game. So you can see it looks like the SE's ahead here and about to get into the game. And that's the SE. So we're ready to fight first on the left. And there's the S9. So here is where pretty much every iPhone is ahead and that's the gaming optimization. Let's go into dead trigger. Even the A9 CPU is still better than a Galaxy S9 Plus here to load up a game and even play it. It's even smoother when you're playing it. So, you know, Android devices and Samsung devices don't game quite as well as an iPhone. Let's go into the subway surfers here and let's see which one can load this first. And it's the SE again. So this just happens. I did this multiple times before doing this test. It seems to happen every time. Sonic Dash. And let's see which one can play first. And you could see, hint, they're pretty close here on this one. Maybe we'll get a win here. Nope, that's the SC again, and we're already playing the game. And here we go on the S9. So again, the gaming round easily goes to the iPhone SE, and that's probably, again, due to developer optimization. Developers know that on the iOS ecosystem, probably more people are going to play games, so they go ahead and they, you know, work on that app a little bit more sometimes than they do on the Android side. So that's been that way for a long time, and that's why the SE is faster here, but it is faster, so 3-2 to the SE. Okay, guys, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Clip. Now, it seems to be a little bit better optimized for the iPhone device, so we're still gonna render it out here just to see which one is quicker. I tried KindMaster, but the files weren't playing nicely with that application on the Galaxy S9 Plus, so we're just gonna do this one right here and see which one is quicker. So 3-2-1. And we're going to speed through it if one takes longer than the other. But you can see just how well optimized this application is for the Apple device. Now, remember, when you buy an iPhone, you get iMovie for free. And that's also a great video rendering app. So I think if you're going to be video editing, any iPhone is kind of better than Android. Although, you're going to have to wait a little bit of time. You do have a nice big screen to operate here for the Galaxy S9 Plus. But, I mean, it's just night and day faster when it comes to rendering a video for an Apple device, but you do run into some issues when it comes to, you know, getting the files onto an iPhone device and things like that. So that's questionable whether you wanna do your video stuff on an Android device or an iPhone. You're basically paying for speed and optimization or, you know, flexibility and easy IO. So we're still waiting on the Galaxy S9 Plus and you see this is a win again for the iPhone device. And I've seen that on, you know, other video apps, it's still faster, so. Optimization is just there for iPhone devices in general. So this is 4.2 to the SE. Okay guys, so I did a Geekbench and you could see the iPhone SE loses pretty easily here to the S9 Plus. Okay guys, so the final scores are in. On the boot up test, the iPhone SE won. On the fingerprint test, the Galaxy S9 Plus won. On the camera launch lock screen test, the iPhone SE won. On the application round, the Galaxy S9 Plus won. On the multitasking round, they tied. On the gaming round, the iPhone SE won that and on the video rendering the iPhone SE won that and on the Geekbench synthetic benchmarks the Galaxy S9 Plus won that. Okay so with those scores in mind you got to really decide what do you care more about because the SE wins in a boot up the SE wins in you know a gaming round do you game on your phone if you don't game on your phone on a day to day the i the Galaxy S9 Plus is going to feel like a faster phone if you game the iPhone SE is going to feel faster if you're doing video rendering the SE is going to feel faster if you care about synthetic benchmarks the Galaxy S9 Plus is faster if you care about tweaking your device you're going to love the S9 Plus this doesn't mean that the SE is a better phone just because it's faster in some areas and it doesn't mean that the Galaxy S9 Plus is a better phone because it's faster in other areas. It really just comes down to the things you want in a smartphone. But I think it's pretty impressive to see that this older iPhone can keep up with Samsung's latest. If we did this the other way around, like we did a Galaxy S6, for example, versus like the iPhone 10, I don't know how much that would keep up with an iPhone 10. So you see what I'm getting at here? I'm not trying to be just in favor of Apple, but I call it as I see it. And this right here showcased to you that if you buy an iPhone right now, it should last quite a while. Buying this right now, probably not the best move because they're gonna update this phone 
but buying this right now is a totally different experience. The Galaxy S9 Plus is a supercomputer in your pocket. The iPhone SE is a smartphone, so you're basically buying smartphone or super phone here in the S9 Plus. Anyway, they're both fantastic. What are your thoughts? Drop them down below in the comment section of this video. If you found this video entertaining, informing, enjoyable, do me a favor, click that like button for me. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you all in the next episode and peace.